Hey there, Minor Nerds. Today, I want to introduce the subject, Hope for the Future. Many people have been at the mindset that humanity is just getting better and better. Slowly, two steps forward, one step back, but gradually they think there's improvement. The brain scientist Steven Pinker released a book saying that if we look at humanity through, throughout our history, that we're actually less violent people than we used to be, both in the number of incidents of violence per person and in the severity of violence. Many people feel that our governmental systems keep getting better, that our economics are gradually getting better, and life in general is getting better for everyone. However, many are questioning this assumption now because the current administration is in place. The steps forward in racism, reducing oppression, and more seem to be lost in one fell swoop. So the very ones who saw hope for the future of humanity are now thinking that perhaps they were mistaken. Perhaps there isn't as much hope as they assumed. As believers, we want to promote the gospel of hope and of peace. But where is their hope to be found? Is there hope for our children as the earth progresses? Of course, there's always hope uh, in heaven. There's always hope in the Lord. But are things getting better or worse on earth? In the next 50 years, should the Lord tarry, will the world be getting better or worse? If the world is going to improve, how will that happen? What are the best indications of hope in the world today? And even if you think that the world isn't going to get better, well, what are the necessary elements to make it better? Where should we be putting our efforts in now to see things getting better for people, even if you think that that might be fruitless? Okay, well, that's a lot of questions. You don't have to answer all of them, but I think you get the idea for the subject. You know, we're, we're just looking at how hope is going to happen in the midst of a, a time that maybe things don't look very hopeful. For myself, I consider Pinker's conclusion, the, the, the conclusion that violence is getting less and less in the world, I believe that conclusion to be weak at best. He's a great cognitive scientist, but not so much a great historian. We have more violence now, I believe, than a thousand years ago because we're living in closer proximity to each other more than ever. In other words, there's more violence now because we live close enough to make it happen. I also think that it's tough to judge. We don't really have any records for 10,000 years ago, and even the archaeological evidence isn't uh, isn't very solid. Although I will say that there is fewer human sacrifices. That's true. Frankly, I think that humans are just as violent as they used to be. And that we'll always have people who think that violence is the answer. We have greater weapons of destruction than ever before. And we have leaders who are more or less willing to use them. And eventually, the circumstances will happen in which the worst of our violence will occur. I believe that believe, just like Chekhov's principle, that if you bring a gun in the first act, it has to be used by the third act. Well, okay, so yes, we've new, used a couple teeny little nuclear weapons, and we've built way bigger ones. And I think that by the third act, they're going to have to get used. I guess maybe I'm a really cynical person. I don't know. I also think that humanity isn't really worse than they used to be. As compared to 100 years ago, some things are better and some things are worse. I'm glad that slavery is rare, that women have had more of an opportunity to organize our society than ever before. We have more access to truth than ever before, uh, even as we have more opportunity for people to create falsehoods that look like truth. In the end, I think humanity is about the same level as we used to be. We have improved some things and we made some things worse. We are who we are. We are madmen, and we are children. We are angels, and we're serial killers. We are bridges both to despair and hope. So where is hope? What is our hope? I think our greatest hope, even on earth, is to be led by the Spirit through acts of sacrificial love and laying ourselves out there for justice.
I think that if we are teaching our young people about what true justice and love looks like, that's where there's hope. I don't know what will happen in the future. And I do know that I will do what I can to make things better in my small way. But my hope is in the power of the Holy Spirit to make the world a more livable place through love. All right. Catch you later, men and nerds.